the foundation complete, the next step is to take the deck pieces that I built earlier and place them on the deck, bolt them together, and level them out. And once that's done, I will have a floor to put my yom on. The deck for the yom is almost done. I've got one more piece to build, and I decided to build this one last with the other seven already assembled so that it would fit properly. There's eight pieces in this deck, and that means I had to build eight slices eight different times. And believe me, it gets pretty old. But one of the things that really surprises me is that usually on a project this big, something that lasts many months or maybe even several years, there's almost always at least one point where I think to myself, screw this, this is too hard, I'm going to quit. And then I'll actually walk away for a little bit, and eventually, some time will pass and I'll kind of rebalance and I'll realize, no, I don't want to quit. I just was really frustrated. And then I'll get back to it and I'll finish it. But that hasn't happened out here, which is pretty shocking. It's been at least five months I've been doing this. 
and not once have I thought to myself, screw this, I'm gonna quit. I mean, I've had plenty of days where I was frustrated, but I never have wanted to quit. So maybe that says something about why I'm out here. Or maybe it says something about the mission that I'm on. Now that the frame has been fully assembled, and the subfloor has been cut and is ready to attach, the deck is almost complete. In the next video, I'll take care of the last few things needed to prepare the deck for my new home.